Null objects are really powerful, but what are they? Now, let's say we had this sequence here. We've got this green solid and we've got this video here. If we wanted to animate these, we could go into each individual layer and we can control the position, scale, rotation. We can move over and we can change these how we want them to. So you could see that one video is going to be affected, but now the green layer is not affected. So if we wanted the green layer to be affected as well, we could also go into transform and we could create a very similar keyframe breakdown. So we'll create a new keyframe on position scale rotation, move over, increase the scale. But you'll notice even though these are very similar, they're moving on top of each other. They're not connected. They don't look great. So this is where a null object comes into play. A null object essentially just groups different assets together and you can control them all as one unit. So let's delete all of those keyframes that we just created there. And now instead, let's go into layer, new, null object. Now from here, and this is the most important part, we can select which layers are going to be linked to the null object. So if we select both of those layers, and then we use this parent and link feature, we can either use the pit whip tool and drag that onto null one, and that will link. Or alternatively, if that's feeling too complicated, we can go into parent and link and select the null of our choice. Now, we don't have to affect the position scale rotation of the solid or the video layer. We can go into null one and we'll create those same keyframes. So position scale rotation, we'll go over and as you can see, these are now being affected as if they were one video. If you're coming from Premiere, the equivalent is putting different assets into a nested sequence and then controlling the nested sequence. Now, what makes null objects really powerful is you can still animate each video individually, but you can affect everything globally. So we've got this scale down effect on the null, but let's go into the video. We'll pull the position over create a brand new keyframe, we'll scroll through to the end of that movement and we'll pull that back into position. And we'll do the same thing on the green solid. So in green, we'll go to scale, create a brand new keyframe on scale at the end of the movement. Then we'll go to the beginning and we'll scale down. You can see we've got that animation from the green solid. We've got the animation from the video, but there is also a scale down effect. If you don't see that clearly enough, then let me just exaggerate this. Let me really increase the scale. There you go. So we've got the movement coming from the individual layers, but everything is also being affected globally by the null object. Now this is really powerful because you can group loads of different assets, layers, video files, images into one controllable layer, which is the null object. And this will enable you to get more control over your animations inside of Adobe After Effects. Using null objects are really important. It's the backbone of animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So I would definitely recommend getting used to null objects, understanding the limitations and understanding what you can and can't do with them.